Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, spacefarers. Welcome to another episode of Starfield. I'm Cobalt Thorium. And in the previous episode, uh, we got some powers from um, this planet here, or Oborum 1. I haven't even looked at to see what they are. But then I noticed, uh, so I finished surveying this planet, and then I noticed that there's another power from beyond here in this solar system. Aborum 2A. So I figured we'd mosey on over there and maybe tackle the star system, get a couple more powers. See what's up. Maybe even try out the powers we've got. Alright, so we have a borum here. Nothing else on the scopes. Pretty empty. Alright, we'll give it a scan. Nothing. Still nothing on the scopes, no starborn coming in or anything, so let's just go off to the moon where this temple supposedly is, or the scanner anomaly, I should say. Uh, yeah, let's set a course first, scan it from orbit, not be too hasty here. Let's make sure we know what we're getting ourselves into. Nothing on scopes. I wasn't sure if that flicker was just the cough or... Starborn warping in. I guess it's probably just the cough. So no fauna, no flora. One surface feature, a ton of minerals. Alright, let's get it. Let's go down. Check this place out. Oh, of course the one surface feature is going to be gravitational anomalies. We already know that. So we'll go ahead and tackle the gravitational anomaly first. Get it out of the way. It'll give us some time to find some resources on the ground. And we'll go and get some superpowers. Without life, there is the potential for beauty. All right. Well, there's. That's probably the temple. I suppose we could always just tackle the temple first. Now oh, this one's pretty close. Let's go to this one. As we get frostbite from some super cold weather here. That it. So we have to find platinum. What else? Well, there's the platinum. Oh, that's everything. So we're gonna have this place fully surveyed very, very quickly. Gravitational anomaly. Multiple gravitational anomalies converge at this at this location and remain locked with each other. Man, that is really hurting my oxygen supply. Alright, here's where we get frostbite.
Well, this should be pretty quick. I don't know if we really need Tantalium. We picked up a whole bunch in a previous quest not so long ago. Bad we don't have a cozy place to check out these new powers. Well, this looks like it might be the entrance. I have to check around for some Starborn, make sure we're not getting ourselves into too much trouble. Getting across this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Suppose we could just jump here. We got the frostbite. Temple Theta. Hmm. I do not think I could tire of seeing these magnificent structures. Well, this might count as a cozy spot. Let's see what our pow the power we picked up is. Personal atmosphere. Okay, I think we had this before. So, okay, that's the active one. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of them now. Let's go with the inner ones first. Anti-gravity field. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold the planet's true power. Then we have creator's peace. Fill your foes with the silent calm of the universe. Compelling them to temporarily abandon their weapons. Uh, that might be interesting to try. Then going outward, we have Gravity Wave. Emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. We have Grav Dash. Manipulate gravity to propel yourself forward and briefly increase any damage that you inflict. In the Iron Ring, we have Personal Atmosphere. Oxygen pure and clean. Brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. Oh. Should try that. Precognition. Bend time and glimpse the future. Seeing the path someone will walk and the words they may say. Sense star stuff. Bind yourself to the particles of creation. Sensing the life force from any human, alien, or starborn. I have never been able to get this to work. How does it work? And then I have a bound to... What's that bound to? Seven. doesn't seem to do anything.
Why is my health d d diminishing? Where'd he go? Oh shoot. Boom! Need a moment to walk that off? You're not walking out of here! Dramatic music over. Come on. Let's head back to the ship. Those guys are not terribly difficult. Alright, we are back. So I'm going to get up. I think we're going to take a quick nap. And then we're going to check out our new power. See what it was. Is. Poor quality air in here. I was beginning to wonder if you hibernate. All right, let's look at our ammo. Top it, top some stuff off. Want to be prepared? All right, I think we're good. So let's check our new power. Looks like it's this. Solar flare. Tap into the power of the sun and release a directed orb of searing hot plasma. All right. Well, that's a very... That's something that we can at least test. Oh, I shouldn't even be doing this. We can avoid this animation altogether by just picking where we want to go. So let's just do that. Okay, so uh, Oborum 2A has been explored. And Oborum 2 itself has been explored. We have not checked out Oborum 2B. So let's very quickly head on over here. Get it out of the way. Then the Oborum 2 star system will be complete. I am somewhat tempted to just finish off the star system all together. What, what are you doing, dude? I hate how slow the user interface is. It's just so tedious. So, like, you'll click on something else because it's doing this animation. It's like... You know, when you've seen the same animation for like 500 times, it's like, okay, I don't need to see it again, really. Just let me get to the important parts here. Uh, were there no surface features of interest? None. Okay. But we do have to find a one of these. Let's go. Want to take bets, Starborn, or someone else? Well, the people who said someone else got it. Unless they're very sneakily disguised Starborn. Or maybe the Starborn are running out of money and they lost too many of their fancy ships. So they have to use... There's a weird little LOD artifact there. Did you see that? So another bug. Incorrect LODs.
Well, that was a short visit. They're probably just surveying like me. Land, do a couple scans, get the hell out. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, is this gonna be the those round rocks that are signs of life? Coraline mineral pool. Shallow ecosystem and nutrient dense pools cycle minerals and remains into the fossiliferous sediments. Might be able to get a view. And there we go. Another planet surveyed. Head on back to star map. So this star this planetary system has now been surveyed. Uh, should we just finish off the entire star system? There's four planets or four moons. What does this have? Civilian outpost. Do we care? I don't know. No, I don't think we care just yet. Um, so we'll head on back to star, uh, Alpha Centauri. The reason why I don't think we care just yet, even though there's only one planet left, is because, um, there's a lot of unexplored plants along the way. I would really like to, if we're going to do them, kind of do them in a wave. That way we know we're not missing anything. So sort of like a bullseye, we'll start in like the very habited planets, the places where we're constantly going to missions all around. Why did we just get a bunch of experience? Interesting. Did I go the wrong place here? I guess I did. So we'll end up with a couple of load screens we didn't need. That's unfortunate. I suppose I could just open up a fast travel. <coughs> All right. Head on up to Mast. down in this case, I guess. So we have a couple missions to do here. I guess they're all hey, hanging out with Mazer Rackham or whoever this guy is. Yep, she knows. The universe has one less monster in it. Or I did my part. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. All right, so uh, now do yours. Newsflash, he's dead. Eh, let's not dance on his grave too much. I don't know if he was a bad person or not. We're just taking it from this guy's word. Uh, I guess we have to judge him regardless. There's no... Uh, yeah, it's done. There's no, like, non-emotional answer here. The universe is one less monster. Well, um... I don't want to call him a monster. Let's just say I did my part, you do yours. Happily. But first, I believe you owe me something. Your evidence. Uh, got your evidence right here. Now I'm done working for you. Or found this, his ID. What if I told you it all burned up in the explosion? Let's say that and see what his reaction is. I'd say it'd be a waste of your and Hadrian's time to have to track down the research team on your own. 
Oof. Surely you found something. I found this his ID. Excellent. Please deposit it in the transfer system. I'd like to take a look at it actually before we lose it. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I guess we don't have it. Misc. Huh. It's not an inventory item. I suppose it could be in notes. Hmm. All right, whatever. Transfer accepted. Would you look at that? Kept it all these years. Some simply couldn't let go of that old world. All right, we will speak to Bay Victus once more. This is fine work, Captain. Thank you. I can ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. All right. His name is Kaiser. Mm. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war. So I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. I did want to go back to what is it called, Nera? Um, because we'd been there once and we sort of got chased off by kind of, at the time, high-level enemies I that I just couldn't deal with. But there's like... There's like a town there that we never even like went around and met everybody and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting to go back there. There's another place I want to go back to too, which is like the, the vultures roost. We got chased out of there by high level enemies. Um, and that's like the headquarters of ecliptic or something. So, all right. So security protocols. Wait, this guy's a guy, a robot. A military model. A. Yes. Interesting. Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource, if you can recover him. Why are you helping us with this? I dedicated my life to the United Colonies. Every effort of my being to their protection. I even gave them my heirs. Even if my circumstances have changed, my purpose is not. This better be worth it, or thanks for the information. I don't know why we're being so rude to this guy. Um, let's go thanks for the information. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. Maybe I'm just not terribly trusting of, like, <laughs> stories from the government and stuff like that. Um... So I, I much prefer to like get my own opinion of people and not just be like, oh, this guy's a bad guy. I always enjoy these moments. Yes, good. Let's go. All right. We do have something else that we need to do while we're here. Um, well, actually, we could report back to Hadrian. She might even be on the same level. Nope. Um... So we need to re reapplication. Talk to John Tallula. Wait, why is it sending us to the Nat station? We could just go one more level up. Weird. The nav system seems kind of bugged. I don't know. Captain, Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you need? Can you tell me more about this United Colonies System Defense Group? You can just call them SysDef. 
Everyone else does. They're the division responsible for combating the Crimson Fleet, fighting pirates. Hmm. It's not a small job keeping the galaxy's mercantile class safe from death and dismemberment, so they're constantly undermanned. They work out of the ship, the UC Vigilance. Though the support request was a little vague on what your actual duties would be if you decided you want to lend a hand. Uh, Bastion Graf wanted me to talk to you. <laughs> okay, didn't see that one coming. No need to say any more. I know what it's about. He's convinced he deserves a promotion, which to him means a transfer, a command post, maybe a new ship and a big office. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? Oh, I can't stand him. I'm just in this for the credits. Where he comes off as a little arrogant. We don't know. I mean, we haven't seen him fly. I'm sure he's a great guy. Or we just met and he asked me to do him a favor. That's the most honest. We'll go with that. Fair enough. Clearly, patience isn't his strong suit. I thought the constant stream of messages was a bit much. But he's going to be sending people here. All right. <laughs> I received some good advice from someone in the Vanguard recently, and I'm going to run with it. I'd like you to deliver this message to Bastion on my behalf, the full authority of Vanguard leadership. He's going to be the first and only recipient of a new commendation. Quite an honor. Hope he appreciates it. The Medal of Please Persistence. Give him my regards. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Um, hmm. Okay, kind of. Hmm. So, this is just. <laughs> they're just going to send us here and then back? Okay, um, well, we'll put that off till later. Um, maybe just do a whole bunch of missions of the, uh, um, a lot of missions end with, oh, just report back. And in a previous episode, I just went and did a whole bunch of those all at once to get them off of our, our mission ledger here. So we'll save that for a future episode, I suppose. Finishing that up. Um, okay. Now there are a couple of things we want to do here. Before we leave, uh, we do want to talk to Vladimir about temples, um, war relics. Report to Hadrian. Where is she? So she's here. No, this is Mars. Okay. Um, I don't know if we want to go all the way back to Mars just yet. Uh, Okay. I kind of want to start on this deep cover one, too. Top secrets. That would be good to do as well. And there's a lot here. And we should probably take care of some of these ones at the bottom first. Oh, we could... We could buy our a room here in New Atlantis. That might be fun. Let's go house shopping. Are there fish in here? Who made that noise? Hello. Never a better time than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. If you're a citizen, of course. And of course we are. <laughs> I'm always ready to make a deal. I'd like to hear what you have for sale. Well, first of all, let me just say congratulations on becoming a United Colony citizen. Thank you. Let's see what we have available. I wonder if we can get a right room now, near the I've parents. Right now, I've got a little place in the well that's up for grabs. No. Some work, and the location is 
Less than ideal, but it's a foot in the door, so to speak. Uh, yeah, no. I have a penthouse apartment in one of the residential towers. Ugh, I forgot. Government has dibs on that one. Uh, well, if it comes back on the market, I'll let you know. Sound like something you're interested in? We're not going to live in the well. <laughs> I'm not ready to buy just yet. No pressure here. You that's, come see me if you change your mind. That's expensive to live in the well, too. I'm always here if you're looking for a new home. So we have to become a government official? Is that what, is that what they're saying here? You know what? Let's, um, uh, let's visit the folks. We haven't done that in a while. I doubt anything's changed, but it's worth checking. So, uh, bum, 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 star map, uh, residential travel. We'll visit the folks, see what's up. Let's see, I believe they're in. Oh, hold on. This all looks the same. I think they're in this tower. Hello. So we want to be in Pioneer Tower if we have the opportunity. Hello, the folks. Did we even tell them that we got married? <laughs> and then widowed. <laughs> What's this? Deck of cards. I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. Hmm. Well, thank you. Constellation sounds magical, like a storybook. Any gossip? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbang. Wow. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Yeah, you you do that. I saved Talking the city. With you has made my day. I'm being serious. I saved the city from terror morphs. You can tell him that. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. All right. Stay as long as you like. Seems like nothing new has changed with the folks. But they're retired, so that's not unexpected. Let us head. Let's do the locate temples. It gets us out there. Um, yeah. Although this would be cool too. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go pirate hunting. I almost want to join the Crimson Fleet. That sounds like it would be a really interesting um, adventure. But the way that the game kind of funnels you down a certain path, it, it seems like it seems a, a little bit tricky. Because, like, we haven't. There's no obvious point at which I've been able to join the Crimson Fleet if I wanted to, right? Um. The same is true of the hunter. We've run into him a couple times. He was very, very well written. But I never realized that, like, that was the moment at which we had to choose his path, if that's what we were going to do. Like, the game is not really great, it seems. What? Where is this? I thought this would have been on this planet. The game's not really great at conveying to you when you're making a, like, game-altering decision. Um, yeah. Submissions. Where is this? This is also in the soul system. Interesting. Oh, well, I guess we're going to the soul system. Um, set course, I guess.
Whoa, look at that. That is a serious warship. I guess they don't talk very much. But there's like ships coming in and out of here. Oh, this is cool. I suppose that we'll have to. Welcome, Captain. We've been expecting you. You're clear to dock at docking port one. can practically hear the sound of credits being wasted. <laughs> nice. Hello. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the commander? Why does it sound like you're reading off of a card? What can you tell me about the UC Vigilance? I'm not authorized to divulge information about this vessel. Suffice to say, it's one of the toughest ships in the UC's arsenal. Before I meet the command, uh, before I meet Commander Ikendi, uh, is there anything I should know? Yeah, listen to him carefully. The commander's a one and done kind of officer. In other words, he hates to repeat himself. Other than that, just observe standard military decorum, and it should keep you from serving any time on the ship's cleaning detail. I'm here on official Vanguard business, so I prefer to speak to the commander. Or, uh, I have a million questions, but they can wait for the commander. Or none, I'm eager to get started. This guy's been kind of rude to us, so maybe I'll be like, I'm here on official Vanguard business, so I prefer to speak to the commander. So I'll order him around a little bit. He's not going right. to like that. This way, please. So... Huh? You're the vanguard that took down that terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. That was a fun I mission. I regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the vigilance. But we have Howdy. our moments. Hmm. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. So Akanda, that's how you pronounce that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Hi. What's up, dude? Hey. It's just Def Lieutenant Commander. Sometimes we'll take the long-range fighters out for grav jump and patrol high-traffic orbitals for fleet. The Vigilance is a state-of-the-art warship. Anyone that gets on the wrong end of her guns is gonna have a bad time. Yes. What? Wow. This is quite a command center. I'm very impressed. Yes? It looks great. Great artwork here. Hello. Excuse me. Can we try and focus on the matter at hand, please? Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistev. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Duala's offer. Well, I decided to do the other quest first, but um, that seems to be going along pretty pretty smoothly, so uh, anyway, UC Sysdef, is that another division of the UC military? UC Sysdef is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle big picture stuff, we deal specifically with pirates. Since you're already involved with the Vanguard, I don't have to underline how important your contribution will be to the security of our spaceways. Uh, I still don't quite understand why I'm here, or I'm not entirely sold on the idea yet, or too little to convince me that it would be for the good, so I'm here. Or so here I am. Let's say, let's be a little bit non-committal. Well, I don't, I'm not entirely sold on the idea yet, or, 
Yeah, this is even more non-committal. I want to know why we're here, so I still don't quite understand why I'm here. Let's go. Yes, I know. I was intentionally vague when I advised Mast of my needs. But rest assured, I'll answer all your questions in due time. Good. So, now that you're part of the team, allow me to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Uh, where is the Vigilance located right now? Well, we know where it is. It's in the Soul System. We are currently in the Soul System, in deep orbit around Phobos. As to why, I'll explain momentarily. Alright. Where exactly is the Crimson Fleet? Well, we've run into them many times, so we know, but... Hmm. That's strange. According to your file, you've encountered them before. On Vectera, specifically. They were the pirates that attacked your mining outpost. I'm surprised you don't remember. I remember. Impressive ship, but I don't see where I fit in. <coughs> or you're going to need more than one ship to eliminate an entire fleet. Let's go with that. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information. Evidence Ooh. and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. So this is where we have our opportunity to join the Crimson Fleet if we want to. We're being introduced as a mole, and then we can decide that we want to stay there. Interesting. Okay. So, I assume you've chosen me because I'm expendable, or I prefer a more direct approach, or it takes more than finesse to catch the attention of a pirate, or I assume you already have a plan in mind. I really like this persuasion. Um, let's ask questions first. The thing is that this might if count as an answer. Continue. Yeah, I don't want to make. I don't want to take the risk. Get me in a room with them, and I'll talk them into anything. We'll go with that. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, <coughs> so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Where'd you get the contraband? That's classified. <laughs> Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously holding it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. Aurora, we know what that is. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship and you're looking at some serious fines. Uh, she could probably sniff out a narc from a sector away. It doesn't sound like an ironclad plan to me, or sounds simple enough. I mean, we could probably persuade our way in, but I do like this. She could probably sniff out a narc from a sector away. That's right. So it'll be your job to convince this person that you're the real deal. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Yeah, why bother getting evidence when they're Crimson Fleet? We already know that they're pirates. They, it's not like they're hiding it. Why bother gav gathering evidence? Let's just say my superiors need proof that engaging the Crimson Fleet is a larger priority than they're willing to admit. If we shove enough concrete evidence under their noses, they'll have no choice but to allocate the resources that I've requested. Okay, that makes sense. Time, we can use the evidence to arrest members of the Crimson Fleet, weakening them enough to strike a fatal blow. If this is the best plan you've got, we're both in trouble. <laughs> or you must have quite a bit of confidence in my abilities, or that's a lot to absorb. Or point the way and I'll get it done. 
I like this kind of judgy. It is not a great plan, actually. Uh, so let's go with this. Well then, I suppose you'll just have to take your chances. In the meantime, I expect you to follow Whoa. my orders to the letter. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. What if I get in over my head? Or I'm guessing that it's too late to back out of the deal. Or I'm just doing this for the money. Or I'll do my best. Then you better learn to swim. Because you're diving right into the deep end on this one. I've studied your profile. I know you can do this. I'm not about to throw away someone's life on a whim or a prayer. Just use your best judgment. Trust your instincts. And watch your back. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't like these two answers, so I'm going to go with the... I'm guessing it's too late to back out of the deal. At this point, whether you like it or not, you're working for me. <laughs> Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. What do you mean, stray too far off the path? The Crimson Fleet doesn't follow the rules. They only abide by one thing. Money. All of their morals and social graces fall by the wayside in pursuit of their greed. At first glance, this can appear quite enticing. So I'm warning you not to get lured into their trap. Think you can handle that? Can you explain Sysdef's code of conduct, conduct and ethics? To put it simply, you can't go into every situation with guns blazing. Think before you act. Calculate what you're doing and pull the trigger only when it's absolutely necessary. At the end of the day, your primary goal is taking down the Crimson Fleet. That's the greater good. <laughs> I don't exactly do well following rules and regulations, or I can't make any promises, or I can stay the course. I'm not a... Uh, I'm kind of souring to this guy, so I might say, uh... Yeah, I don't do well following rules and regulations. Well, you better learn quick. Otherwise, I'll start looking for someone to take your place. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to <laughs> Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. Um, looks like there's a couple more questions here. The AI is glitching out with this character off to the right, but hopefully it won't, like, trash the game or anything. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> now there's some weird thing happening on the screen. All right, um, how will I maintain contact with you? That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. She's going to be following me around? I don't know if I like that. Please, finish your thought, so that we can move on to other business. Do you have any other information about Sour C. Bowden? We'll just call her S. Bowden. Or him. I don't even know. Whatever. All we know is that she's been with the Trade Authority for years, which means she's been privy to some seriously shady deals. She's shrewd and she's diligent. The only reason we were able to connect her with the Crimson Fleet at all was thanks to an informant. I'm afraid she's the best lead we've got. What happens if I get arrested while I'm undercover? For your own safety, nobody but myself and the crew of the Vigilance will be aware that you're <coughs> working for the United Colonies. Basically, if you land in jail, you're going to have to deal with the fines. Can you tell me more about my expected behavior as an agent? While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're <coughs> undoubtedly going to be faced with some morally gray decisions. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the first place.
I refuse to kill innocent people, or what if I don't have a choice? Or maintaining my cover as a pirate and abiding by the law won't mix. Well, that's true. Um. Yeah, what if I don't have a choice? Then you do what you have to do. The Crimson Fleet has the potential to kill hundreds, even thousands of people per year. If it takes a few deaths to maintain your cover, then so be it. But only as an absolutely final resort. This is not a licensed killing spree. Understood? Um, this top, top one is definitely... Yeah, true. Maintaining my cover as a pirate and ab abiding by the law won't mix. That's why I expect you to constantly seek alternative means to overcome your obstacles, rather than blowing holes in them. Look, I can see that you're struggling with this. So let me simplify this for you. If there's a route to your goal which doesn't involve killing innocent people, I'm urging you to follow that path. Use your instincts. I'm certain you'll do the right thing. All right, this is not great. Um, so yeah, this is this is gonna affect our ability to do a bunch of other things if we're if we're wanted, you know, by the UC authorities. We're not gonna be able to come back to Jemison, which is kind of important to everything that we're doing. Um, and the same is probably true for. Um, uh, for the Freestar Collective. Howdy. So, um, we might have to just do these missions later. Ooh, Combat Tech Catalog 2. Further increases the range and accuracy of Combat Tech weapons. Yeah, I probably need to loot this place up. Actually, we, uh, we should probably do it in an episode, because there's probably a bunch of people on here who have conversation. Get out of the way. That, um, might be interesting. And we have computers. Yeah, we're going to have to do an, an episode and explore this giant ship, I think. So that'll probably be the next episode. But yeah. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.